servant. Well, one of the great advantages of having your own hotel is that you have uh, access to the kitchen whenever you like. I'm actually more impressed that you managed to bring that up six flights of stairs without dropping anything. Well, with the right motivation, I'm unbelievably dexterous. <clears throat> Can I pay? Ooh, I was really hoping that you might have to. Chocolate covered strawberry? You're good. <laughs> You're good. Is there any limit to your talents? You have all night to find out. These are really good. We aim to please. How can I ever repay you? Come to work at ELQ. Well, that was direct. And sincere. Two qualities I'm not usually noted for. What can I say? You bring out the best in me. Stefan used to tell me that a true strategist uses the truth whenever possible. If you're going to spend the evening quoting your cousin, I may just have to leave. It's a bad habit. That was my last reference. But he's right. One should never lie. Unless they have to. Let's never have to. How do you feel about a pact of mutual non-disclosure? That we both pledge to mind our own business if the other person deems it necessary. You see, now I know I want you to work for me. You're the only lawyer I know in the world who can make mutual non-disclosure sound attractive. See, you know, that's not an answer. Not easy to divert. Another rare quality in a corporate council. And if you're going to keep dodging my proposal, well, I'm afraid I may have to ask you to leave. But I propose first. Well, but I can't give you an answer until you give me one. I'm serious. I can't consider working for ELQ until I know that you will allow me to keep my private business separate. Is someone threatening you? See, that would be the first unanswerable question. <clears throat> there are certain things that the Quartermains will not discuss with anyone outside their family, and the same is true for the Cassidines, even exiled ones. In exchange for this concession, would I have your absolute guarantee not to act against ELQ or my family? If there were ever a conflict of interest, I would tender my resignation. And you would have to accept it. I can live with that. Then let's discuss ELQ. First a toast. Here you are. To mutual non-disclosure. And future negotiations. I'm not sure that I appreciate being referred to as a problem to be solved. Oh, no, it's, it's a compliment. <sighs> You're beautiful, intelligent, and I have a very hard time keeping my eyes off of you. But you're also one of the most capable attorneys I've ever met in my life, and that's why I want you to work for ELQ. The problem is, despite what I've said in the past, I make it a policy not to mix business with pleasure, primarily because it gives my family an obvious route of attack. Meaning that if we're sleeping together, and something goes wrong. Or even if something doesn't. They could accuse you of bias, and they could even question your decision on other matters. Very succinct. And, and a very difficult problem to solve, because I find you equally attractive. And I would be reluctant to give you up, even for a position as stimulating and uh, lucrative as, as corporate counsel for ELQ. Well, then I guess we have to decide whether we want a professional relationship or a personal one. Or we could have both. I vote for both. So do I. So how do, how do we work this out? Oh, would you just leave that to me? Okay. Because like I said, I am 
remarkably dexterous <laughs> when motivated. I'd liberate another bottle, but it's almost time to go to work. Oh. Is it morning already? Close enough. So, do we have a deal? I'm 100% on board. Welcome to ELQ. Among other things. 